We know that the author and finisher of our faith, the one who is able to heal us of it, has done it. Just begin to pray right now that you are healed from Picos in the mighty name of Jesus. Hi guys and welcome back to Brandy Circle. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know that you have already seen the title of this video so you kind of know what you're here for or maybe you don't but thank you so much for stopping by and I'm trying not to make this video like a very emotional one. I want to make it, I want to keep it simple, keep it clean. This is a video that God has instructed me to make. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Today I'm talking about Picos. Um, my Picos story, Picos journey, Picos in general. Picos is polycystic ovarian syndrome polycystic ovary syndrome however you want to put it it's a hormonal disorder um, common among women of uh, reproductive age women with picos have infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods or excess male hormones known as androgens androgens rather androgens so i'm making this video today as a faith action God has directed me today to create this video not just for myself but for every other woman that is going through the same thing. Our healing is now. If you ever see me looking down it's because I'm looking on my iPad where I took notes um, just to keep myself on track so I don't go um, off a lot. So Heavenly Father, oh Lord, I bring you into this video today and I just pray that, you know, everything that you would have done today will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that my words are accompanied by you, oh Lord, that it is not me who is speaking, but you who is speaking through me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Perfect. So let's get right into things. So I came into Canada in 2015 and prior to 2015 I've had very very normal periods and mind you I started getting my period at age 11 um, and I came to Canada at 16 so for five years I had very very normal periods no issues month to month normal you know maybe a slightly heavier flows in at the start of the week and then towards the end of the week I had normal to low flows normal and then um in 2017 maybe or towards the end of 2016 i noticed that my periods um my period wasn't coming frequently you know i didn't really think it as anything i just thought maybe you know um i'm i'm still growing i'm still developing what what that means is that sometimes you might not have very very um stable menstrual cycles your menstrual cycle might change from time to time so i didn't think anything about it i didn't talk to my parents i didn't talk to anyone about it uh, until up until the point where it happened continually for a year where i would get my period only once in four months literally but you may ask like what is the cause of picos or what are some causes of picos to be honest <laughs> i don't think even gynees gynecologists know what what leads to picos because picos in itself has no known causes however there's some things that you know may lead to it or may cause it to happen for any reason for example like picos is hereditary or could be hereditary research suggests that certain genes might carry or might be linked to picos um excess androgen when the ovary is producing excess androgen it leads to picos and remember androgen is that male hormone <clears throat> so high levels of androgen leads to picos so if your body is not able to process insulin properly um, and you have higher levels of insulin in your blood you then might be producing androgen androgen causes picos it's a whole of list of things that realistically we cannot pinpoint that you know this is the cause of picos or that is the cause of picos it's just a very large scale and some general symptoms of picos the most common com common one is like irregular periods like you know your periods might not come month to month maybe they're two months apart three months apart or some people in um usually have their periods multiple times in a month so let's say it came this week and then you have a break next week normally it shouldn't come until next month but then by the third week you're seeing a period again that could be a sign that points to uh picos other things are like having fewer than nine periods a year that's very 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 common 
having fewer than nine periods a year or more than 35 days between periods and abnormally heavy periods abnormally heavy periods another thing that could point to you having picos is excess androgen androgen which i already spoke about being the male hormone um elevated levels of male hormones may result in physical signs such as like um acne excess body hair like i said again do not diagnose yourself i'm in no way a medical professional whatsoever i'm just telling you guys things that i've also read upon things that i've been told by my gynae um and you know personal symptoms as well once in four months and that was it and whenever my period um would come it would be so so heavy heavy like i'm talking changing pads every now and then i'm going to um get up and and show you guys the kind of pads that i use that i use so these are the pads that i use i'm going to open it up just so that you can see what it looks like so they're really long um they come in this always maxi bag well it has more but i've already used some of it but i'm just showing you guys it's the always maxi two times larger back it's the biggest size that always actually creates as you can see from here from the size chart the reason why i'm actually showing you guys like these pads is because i want you to understand the extent that i go to hold on to my period flows but still end up staining myself quite often i go through pads like that so at that point i realized that you know no this can definitely not be normal like there's something more happening and there's something more going on and at that point i was already in university that was when i decided to you know call upon my parents and be like <laughs> i don't know what's going on but i definitely know that whatever is happening is not very normal and obviously my parents told me to go get go to the hospital see if i can get tested do something i did go to the hospital at the time it was just a very complicated thing because i went to the hospital for one thing but ended up getting results for something else but fast forward to 2019 um 2019 was when i was it 2019 or 2020 it was somewhere somewhere around that 2000 i think it was 2020 actually during the pandemic yeah um was when i go i had to go get tested again because i started having different symptoms this time um apart from you know maybe once in four months period and heavy flows which was quite manageable because you know what <laughs> sometimes not having those periods can be helpful in terms of like you don't have to worry about it but when i started worrying was when my periods were lasting for 18 19 days on end and i'm talking 18 19 days of heavy flow like heavy 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 flow and then the flows were accompanied by a lot of like blood clots so at that point i was being i was so weak so tired it's like my body is losing so much hemoglobin i was bleeding like a lot and at that point my parents were just like no we need to find out what's going on you can't keep bleeding like this is not healthy i went to the hospital they referred me to a gynecologist if you know anything about healthcare in canada it is free but the main problem is that with things that are free means that you have to wait long for it obviously because there's a higher um demand than supply so it takes time I, I the time between when i got my first appointment to when i eventually saw the guy me was probably <laughs> maybe three months i'm not sure it was very very long and it got to a point that my parents were like you know what these results are taking forever um come back to nigeria but going before i went back to nigeria actually to get um to see my gynecologist in nigeria i act i was actually able to get my results out and they diagnosed me with picos and um obviously with the time between the diagnosis and you know what to do next it was just taking too long so i eventually went back to nigeria um obviously with in nigeria there's private health care back to nigeria and i got diagnosed with picos again so that's just one of the symptoms that i had um the next 
symptom that I noticed this also started around 2017 and that was rapid weight gain um, I was eating <laughs> less than what I would even normally eat but I would still be gaining weight and the thing about weight gain is that people don't know when obviously people don't know that this is not not normal or this is beyond your control um a lot of people talk obviously when you know that you're trying but there's really nothing that you you can do and then if you're trying to lose weight lose weight with picos it's almost three times as hard to lose weight um and someone that doesn't have picos so that's that's honestly honestly these are things that i pretty much moved past and it's not really bothering me at all i try my best to eat as healthy as possible obviously it's not always easy and then you find that you are going on one diet after the other one diet after the other it's almost like you are diet hopping um just trying to find what works and after a few weeks you're tired of it you just want to eat and you're like oh this is not even my fault can i just rest and it's it's a whole cycle and it's really 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 not easy but we are healed today the whole point of me saying all of this is to say that our healing is now as for and for anyone that's currently watching me right now our healing is now we're going to have a little prayer session at the end of this um at the end of this video god needs to take this away honestly because i can't keep staining people's chairs keep staining people's furniture i can't keep staining my clothes you know how much of my clothes have been ruined due to like blood just destroying them my like oh my god i just don't want to go into like too much detail but like mattresses clothes other people's furniture ah that one is the worst because like you have to keep apologizing like forever when you ruin it and sometimes it's just like you know why do i have to deal with this like i'm a child of god i have prayed but why do i have to deal with this at all there this particular birth control pills i'll try to put it on the screen right here that's what i was giving to use um and to be honest it actually like made my periods regular it regulated my periods very very well um i was seeing my periods every month um i don't even know if that's a result of the birth control pills or if it's a result of me being in nigeria because what i realized is that whenever i went to nigeria on holiday i would actually see my period every month whenever i'm back in canada my period stops so i did speak to my guy about that and he also mentioned that you know um your environment actually plays a, a huge role on picos as well and i realized when i'm in nigeria i lose weight I lose weight. I don't know whether it's because my mom puts me on a really good diet or it's the sun and the heat and everything, but I lose weight and it really helps my picos. I see my period normally whenever I'm in Nigeria, but when I'm back here, maybe it's the food, maybe I don't know what it is, maybe it's the weather, the environment, my periods just start acting up. So anyway, I was given BCP birth control pills to use and made my periods quite regular. I still use them when I go back to Canada after the holidays. It did really, really help. The reason why I stopped using my BCP actually was because in the middle of my head here, like I noticed that hair just fell out. <laughs> so funny. I don't know if the breath control pills like, um, uh, because of like the way that it f forces your hormones to do things just to make everything regular. And it's a lot of work on your hormones. I don't know if that, that's what led to the hair loss that I experienced. Obviously, my hair is grown now. I, I cut off everything, cut off all my hair and started growing it again. It happened to every bucket of faith that you have right now. Every bucket of faith that you have. I stopped using my birth control pills after that because I can't, I don't know. I just felt like that's not a permanent enough solution for me. I just need God to take it all away and I know that he definitely will because I'm the person that would lay hands on other people and they will be healed and I know that I serve a living God and I know that he wants to heal me of picos as to why I'm making this video right now. The purpose of this video is to receive healing right now, to receive healing right now. So I, um, I just want you to pray with me right now. Um, if you're watching this video, let's just... Um, if for any reason picos is something that you are dealing with if for any reason you are struggling with picos i say today that this is the end of picos in our lives in the mighty name of jesus 
I speak to that hormonal imbalance. I speak to it right now that it is gone in the name of Jesus. If you are currently struggling with picos, infertility, miscarriages, whatever it is, I say this is the end. I put a stop to it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that your period will regularize in the name of Jesus. I speak today to your periods that they will become regular from this very moment in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to that to that thing called picos, whether or not gynecologists, doctors, who's researchers, whether or not they know what causes it, we do not care because right now we know that the author and finisher of our faith, the one who is able to heal us of it, has done it. Just begin to pray right now that you are healed from picos in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray for myself right now. Brandy, begin to mention your name. Brandy, you are healed. Brandy, you are healed. Brandy, you are healed. You are healed in the name name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Regular periods right now. Regular periods right now. I don't know. I, I just sent someone that's going through Picos right now and maybe you have a lot of acne. You have a lot of acne and it's really bothering you. I speak to you today that your face is wiped clear. Your face is wiped clear in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is. Facial hair. I say today is the last time you would experience any inconvenience with facial hair in the mighty name of Jesus whatsoever it may be whatsoever it may be I say that that the blood of Jesus will flow through our bodies right now flow through our veins right now and heal us in the mighty name of Jesus thank you everlasting father thank you everlasting Lord because I know that it is done I know that it is done I know that it is done thank you Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. If you've made it to this point, I just want to say thank you. A huge thank you to you for watching up to this moment. I appreciate you. Accept your healing right now because God wants to heal you. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful one. Bye.